Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for Game Week 5 where I show my team and what I've already done with my transfers. But before that, let's see who did well in Game Week 4. Top scorer for Game Week 4 in the Midnight Mule Mini League was Navinda Babaram with Team Grove with 85 points which is very high considering it was a low scoring week. That was with Captain Harlan 26, Gabrielle 15, Onana and Mateta both got 13, Ahmad got 6 and that's all. Calvert-Lewin had 6 on the bench but that would have just been showing off playing Calvert-Lewin because it was such a good score anyway. Top of our league is your Anani, your Anane. I know I'll be saying that wrong. Sorry about that. With Ewain FC, they all got 63 points. That was with Harlan 26, Watkins 13, Smithrow 7, Veltman 7, and that's all. And on the bench, nothing. As for me, I'm all the way down in 283rd. I got 55 points. That was with Captain Harlan 26, Smithrow 7, Edison 7, thanks to a nice assist, and that's all. And on my bench, nothing. So I got 55 points. The game week rank was just outside the 4 million, but I took a 12 point hit. So the 55 is really 43 points. So there I am, third red arrow in a row. I should get two more red arrows yet because I'm doing transfers. I'm just outside the 3 million rank officially. Now this live FPL says that I'm two points away from the 3 million rank. But I've already made three transfers. That's a minus eight. So I'm actually only four points away from the four million rank. Hopefully I'll be able to stay this side of four million this week. But let's see how it goes. Thank you very much to everyone who subscribes, watches, leaves comments. But most of all, <laughs> watches these videos. Thank you. So it's all about money for me at the moment. The first six weeks, I'm trying to increase my team value. The FPL Game Week website, you can look at the Content Creators League, see where you would appear. And I've ordered this by team value and I'm currently richer than any of the other content creators. I'm on 101.5 team value. The next best is FPL Tips and FPL Dagger with 101.3. There's my 101.5. The average though for content creators is 100.5. So I'm a million better off than the average. My total points is 259. The average is 274. So I'm 15 points behind the average but I'm a million richer. So is a million worth 15 points? I think an extra million is worth a lot more than 15 points. So I'm happy with how it's going. If I'm going to be able to make it work or not by the end of the season, I don't know, but let's see. I was asked the question, why am I chasing the money? And that's fair enough. I guess I, I didn't make that clear. The reason is, like I've got an extra million now. You could look at someone's team. It all looks okay, but they've got Henderson in goal for 4.5. My extra million makes Henderson into Raya. And apart from that, the rest of the team is the same. So money absolutely makes a big difference. So at the moment, time of recording, today is Thursday. My squad value is 98.8, but I've got 2.8 in the bank. So I've actually got 101.6 at the moment. Again, back to FPL Game Week website, Content Creators League. Top content creator is Ash from FPL Juice at the moment on 319 points. And it's worth noting that the top seven in our Midnight Mule Mini League have got an even better score than that at the moment. But well done, Ash, for that. As for me, I'm all the way down in 54th, which is one point ahead of, there we are, Davey. It's a South African I sometimes watch and listen to. And I know quite a few South Africans. I've got some that are relatives as well. Nice people. Game week five, I had one free transfer. I've made three so far, so that's an eight-point hit. And I did this at the weekend because I thought prices were going to change. It looked like Palmer was going to go down this week. So I offloaded him. Munez isn't getting the minutes and it, he was definitely going to go down and he has now. So he was worth offloading. Gel Pedro may go down, but since I bought him, he'd already gone up 0.2. So I wanted to lock in that 0.1 profit. So I had to get rid of him. And they've been replaced with McNeil from Everton. Nice run of fixtures. He's nice and cheap. I've got Ollie Watkins. He scored a couple at the weekend. Maybe he's going to start being good. And I thought it'd be worth getting in an experienced striker who's won the Premier League. So he knows what it's about. And that is, of course, Jamie Vardy. So my team for game week five, I have Haaland at home as captain. He gets to wear the old mule hat at home to Arsenal with his mates Edison and Lewis. 
My vice captain is Watkins at home to Wolves. I've got Robertson at home to Bournemouth with his mates Trent and Luis Diaz. I've got Mittimer at home to Forest. I've got Smithrow at home to Newcastle. I've got Vardy at home to Everton. And I've got Embremo away to Tottenham. So I wouldn't be surprised if any of those got me a return. But I thought that last week as well and I didn't get a very good score. As for the bench, and I'd be fine for any of these to come in. I've got Ramsdale at home to Ipswich. I was tempted to play him instead of Edison because the models that predict points think he's going to outscore Edison. But I decided to stay with Edison anyway. But I do like Ramsdale. I've got McNeil. He's away to Leicester. Robinson at home to Newcastle. I think Newcastle will score, but there's a reasonable chance Robinson's going to get a return for an assist. And i got Bednarak at home to Ipswich. Again, he could get a clean sheet. So the predictive models have Ramsdale and Bednarak as scoring higher than Edson and Lewis, but I'm electing to go with the Man City boys anyway. As for the background <laughs> image, maybe a little bit silly, but <laughs> I got a message last week to one of my videos and I read it as another quality video mate watching on my work monitor over here in Denver Colorado good luck this weekend that was from Nathan Dixon so from that I thought well I'll do somebody sitting on a work monitor a very large monitor is working watching my video over in Denver Colorado but then when I put it all together I saw it it said in my work monitor not on my work monitor but I thought I've already done it now so here we go <laughs> that's it that's what happened in game week four and my plans for game week five i've got two more weeks to make transfers where i don't mind taking hit and after that i'm going to try and play conservative and catch up thank you very much for watching i hope you're having fun this season and i hope you have a good game week five thanks bye <music>